Welcome back to my channel. This story was penned by Field Level Media. James William Johnson born July 16, 1943. Pro Football Hall of Famer Jimmy Johnson, a lockdown cornerback who spent his entire 16-year career with the San Francisco 49ers, died on Wednesday, May 8, 2024. The evening, his family announced. He was age 86. The Hall of Fame made the announcement Thursday for Johnson's family, which said he had been in declining health for some time and had remained in the San Francisco area. Jimmy was an American sports analyst and former football coach. Johnson served as a head football coach on the collegiate level from 1979 to 1988 and in the National Football League NFL, for nine seasons. He is the first head football coach to win both a college football national championship and a Super Bowl, achieving the former with University of Miami and the latter with the Dallas Cowboys. Johnson held his first head football coaching position at Oklahoma State University from 1979 to 1983. He became Miami's head football coach in 1984 and guided the team to victory in the 1988 Orange Bowl. Johnson attended high school at Thomas Jefferson High School, now known as Memorial High School, in Port Arthur, Texas. In high school he was a classmate of Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Janis Joplin. Johnson played college football as a defensive lineman at the University of Arkansas, between 1962 and 1964. He helped lead the Razorbacks to the national championship in 1964 when he was named to the All-Southwest Conference team. Additionally, he was named to the Razorbacks All-Decade Team of the 1960s and was later inducted into Arkansas State Athletic Hall of Fame in 1988, followed by the University's Hall of Fame in 1999. Johnson attended high school at Thomas Jefferson High School, now known as Memorial High School, in Port Arthur, Texas. In high school he was a classmate of Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Janis Joplin. Enshrined in the Hall of Fame in 1994, Johnson played from 1961 to 76. He competed in 213 games at the time of franchise record later broken by Jerry Rice. Johnson's 47 interceptions also were a team mark later broken by Ronnie Lott. Jimmy Johnson was extraordinarily athletically talented. Pro Football Hall of Fame President Jim Porter said in a statement. The 49ers enjoyed the luxury of using him on offense and defense early in his career to fill team needs. Once he settled in at left cornerback, he flourished. The notion that a lockdown cornerback could cut the field in half for the opposition was true with Jimmy. Only rarely would other teams' quarterbacks even look his direction, and more often than not regretted the decision if they challenged him. Johnson was selected to the Pro Bowl for four straight seasons, 1969 to 72, as well as in 1974. He was first team All Pro in 1970 to 72. The Pro Football Hall of Fame selected him for the All Decade team of the 1970s. I don't look at someone and think that he can't beat me, Johnson said. If you play long enough, you're going to get beat. The question and the key to your effectiveness is how often. He also played halfback and flanker in 1962 and 1963, catching 40 passes for 690 yards and four touchdowns. San Francisco selected him as one of its three first-round draft choices, sixth overall in 1961. He was a football star at UCLA at wingback and defensive back as well as a track standout in hurdles and long jump. His brother, Olympic gold medal winning decathlete Rafer Johnson, was his presenter at the Hall of Fame induction ceremony on July 30, 1994. Jimmy is a quiet man, but he played with determination and commitment, Rafer Johnson said. Most of all, Jim was and is a gentleman and a true gentleman. Jimmy Johnson won the Pro Football Writers George Hallis Award for Courageous Play in 1971 after playing half of that season with a broken wrist. He twice received the Len Eshmont Award, chosen by 49ers players and given to a teammate for inspirational play. Jimmy Johnson has not only been a great football player, he has been one of the game's finest citizens throughout his career, Joe Thomas, the team's vice president and general manager at that time said when the 49ers retired Johnson's number 37 jersey in 1977. There is no one in the NFL who does not have the highest respect for him, 
both as a player and as a man. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow for more content. Please support my channel by sending it to Cash App Dollar Director 327. Thank you for your gift, it is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.